The Lord Mayor Elias Rukwaku today chaired his first council meeting after bouncing back in office following a tumultuous spell during his first term. With both the technocrats and political wings present in the chambers, the first assignment was to appoint a deputy Lord Mayor who will help Rukwago dispense his duties. Amongst the three front runners were FDC's Muhammad Seglinya, Dorin Nyanjura, and DP's Sara Kanyike. Invoking Section 9 of the KCCA Act that gives the Lord Mayor powers to select his deputy, Lukwago opted for a protege and fellow DP party member. Of the KCCA Act to appoint Sara Kanyike as the deputy Lord Mayor. 29 councillors who attended today's session unanimously approved her name. I hereby arise to second the approval of your well thought selected deputy, Honorable Sarah Kanike. Your Lordship, since you have powers uh, and you get that powers from the KCC Act to appoint your deputy, I'm here to second Madame Sarah Kanike as a deputy Lord Mayor. In her acceptance speech, Kanyike, who has been Lukwago's personal assistant and also served as speaker under KCC, called for harmony between the technical and political wings. Both the political and the technical team need one another. And without this kind of harmonious working relationship, togetherness, goodwill, the city and its residents are headed for a service. Barely after election, Lukwago said he hopes his are alias will be paid. I do request management to expedite the process of remitting my accumulated emoluments as was recommended by Parliament while making the necessary appropriations for the financial year 2015-2016. Kanike was then ushered into her office. The mayor has been looking at me there and in the, in the council. I thought he is going to present my name. Maybe you've forgotten, I don't know, but let me just wait, let me remain firm. I think next time you will propose my name. Choosing uh, Sonayo Lord Councillor Sarah Kanyike is not really bad, I'm happy for that. And uh, my position in the morning was that I, will, uh, I would uh, second any name that was uh, proposed by the Lord Mayor. Ali alone, four councillors representing the youth, workers and disabled took oath. I, Awali Shamim Namsisi. Solemnly affirm that I'll be faithful. Bear true allegiance to the Republic of Uganda as by the law established. So help me, God. Thereafter, 10 working committees, which include education, gender, health, and legal committee, among others, were formed. Herbert Ziwa, NTV.